Okay, healers, we have a problem. I really need y'all to start healing more. Have you ever seen this happen to you? Or even worse, are you the person who caused this to happen? The reason why people are saying that healers don't heal is kind of complicated. In high-end rating, a lot of discussion around healing is focused on optimization. This isn't a bad thing. The problem is when this advice is given to the wrong audience. Whenever a new raid tier drops, I only see complaints about greedy healers who aren't healing enough. When you're getting into high-end healing, people will talk a lot about how you should be rarely using GCD heals. This can be good advice, but it isn't always. And that's kind of what the problem is. Not using GCD healing means that you're reducing the amount of healing output that you have. In other words, you're healing less. When everything's going well, this is okay. Your goal is to keep people alive. With proper mitigation, most healers have enough tools to heal without using any GCD heals. Reducing your healing so that you can do more damage is great for optimizing. Where this goes wrong is that you get players who are new to healing doing this in prog. If you don't know what prog refers to, it's short for when you're progressing through a fight. In other words, you're still learning the fight and maybe you don't understand the mechanics and definitely aren't clearing it or even seeing enrage consistently without dying. For healers, this means a little more because this includes not just your own understanding, but also the understanding of every single player in the party. As a healer, it's your job to keep everyone alive, and you have the most tools to do it. What's going on is you have a lot of healers who will literally choose to not heal just to squeeze out another damage spell. They're doing this because they're told that it's how you should be playing. This can sometimes make a bad mentality where healers will justify it by saying that someone shouldn't have gotten hit. It's your fault for dying, not mine. As you can imagine, this can and will directly lead to wipes in scenarios where the party could have otherwise been saved. What I'm seeing is that a lot of resources when you're learning how to heal kind of just focus on optimization and they're more targeted towards high-end raiders. I honestly don't see many beginner-focused guides for healing. The fact of the matter is, you simply can't rely just on OGCD heals in prog. The whole point of prog is to learn and see the fight so that you can better execute on it. I'd say that there are two groups of players, the new healers that don't know any better and the greedier players who just want to do more damage. What I need newer healers to know is that it's okay to use GCD heals. Please, please, please use tools like Medica 2, Cure 2, and Cure 3 to help keep people alive. If you're a shield healer, there's nothing wrong with using GCD shields in every single raid wide that you can. When you're in prong, your damage doesn't matter. You shouldn't be thinking about getting more damage out until you see Enrage. What's important before that point is to figure out how to resolve all the mechanics and do it cleanly. If you stop doing damage to save someone, that might get them past the body check, which means you get to study the fight for another 10 or 15 more seconds, which might mean that you clear faster together. If you instead choose to cast another glare because your OGCD heals are gone, you're just kind of slowing down the fight for everyone else. If that means doing nothing but rezzing for a minute because people keep dying, you do that. If that means not casting any damage spells because you don't have the mana to rez, you do that too. You just have to be really careful about the kind of places that you're getting advice from. I'm not saying that the guides out there are all bad for healers, but I certainly had the experience of being told to rarely use certain buttons, which surprised me. Sage was my first healer, and when I picked it up, I certainly ran into a lot of resources telling me how bad GCD healing is. If you're new, you can safely ignore that and worry about it once you're more experienced. Now about that second group. We've all heard the horror stories of the healers who tell others that they don't deserve healing. If this sounds like you, I want to remind you that your job is about supporting others. If you want to optimize, just be considerate of where you are. If you're in prog parties where people are learning the fight, your damage takes a backseat to keeping others alive. Even if it's a reclear party, because let's be honest, a lot of these are still prog parties too, you can't expect people to be perfect with mechanics. Party Finder isn't the place to cause a wipe because you care more about your parse than actually clearing. If you want to focus on things like that, you should join parties where the goal is to do well and wipe for smaller mistakes. And just to be clear, there's nothing wrong with wanting to play that way, the problem is when everyone isn't on the same page. Don't be the player that forces everybody to play your way because it isn't fair. If you want that, join a party that aligns with your goals or make your own. I really just want both healers and the people playing with healers to have a better time. Seeing people on social media talk about this made me realize that it was a bigger problem than I thought. Hopefully after watching this, you feel more comfortable with the idea of using GCD heals. Then, once you learn the fights well enough, you can pull back on the GCD healing and rely more on your other tools. And keep in mind, this isn't to say that you shouldn't be using OGCD heals either. You should use them a ton too, just don't play like they're all that you have. Anyway, I'll see y'all in the next one, and take it easy, homies. Don't forget to join the Discord.